So far, we've been looking at uh, essentially uh, Markov arrivals, uh, Poisson arrivals, uh, and Poisson departures. And uh, so we look at the MM1Q and a couple of variants of the MM1Q. Uh, what happens if it's not Markov? So we could have a system where the arrivals are Markov, but the departures are deterministic. It's called the MD1Q. And the equations for this are quite complicated. In fact, they're quite hard to derive. Even though it looks simpler, in fact, it is actually more complicated. And the expressions for this can be found in the course notes. Uh, what happens when you go beyond that, when we have something called the GG1Q, uh, where you have general arrivals, general departures, not a whole lot can be said about this. The two things we do depend upon is the Little's Law, because Little's Law uh, holds true for all uh, uh, arrivals and departure processes. So we just that means n equals lambda t. So the number of customers in the queue is the mean arrival rate multiplied by the uh, uh, mean service time, uh, mean time in queue. And the other uh, thing we can say is that the probability of being in state 0, pi 0 star, is given by 1 minus rho. And this is true if the queue is unbounded. Is, uh, is unbounded. So uh, if it's bounded, then it doesn't hold true. But for unbounded queues, this relationship holds true. But it's not particularly exciting. It just says that uh, if your utilization is, let's say, 90%, then 10% of the time you're idle. And that's not a whole lot to, uh, it's not a whole lot you can say beyond that.